So we're gonna go straight into it. My first tip is going to be your settings. So make sure you change your controller settings to the tactical flipped layout. With tactical flipped, you're able to press down on your R3 button, which will enable you to be able to crouch and go prone without having to take your fingers off of the controller. So this means you can drop shot and that's gonna help you win more gunfights because enemies don't expect you to drop down to the floor. Try out tactical flipped if you haven't yet. Just go into a private match and just practice practice it until you get the hang of it. Trust me, it will result in a much higher winning percentage for those gunfights. The reason why we're picking flipped is because we're going to be using our L1 and R1 to aim down sights and fire our weapon. This will help us get a much tighter shot from long distance by tap firing the R1 button from longer distances. So this will help with your accuracy and the response is a lot more instant versus just using the triggers. And of course, you want to make sure your sensitivity is the best for you. Go into a private match, mess around with different sensitivities play against some bots and make sure you are set with the correct sensitivity that works for you another thing i want to go over with your settings is to remove the motion blur for both your weapon and the environment so that your gameplay is much crisper and cleaner have that film grain all the way down and as for sound settings i do highly recommend using the home theater audio mix and turning your music volume all the way down to zero having the home theater audio mix i feel personally has helped helped me sound whore enemies footsteps a lot better. I highly recommend you go use some cheap Apple headphones or any kind of headphones that you can hook up to the back of your monitor. My second tip is positioning. This is the first Call of Duty that even good players are struggling with. You know, if you look on YouTube, almost every single big YouTuber has their best gameplays of them just camping really hard. Now, unfortunately, that is what we're forced to do in this game. You can't really rush as hard as as we used to back in previous Call of Duties because of the map layout. The map layouts are different. This is not your typical three lane system. The meta has changed. You do have to take control of power positioning. And that's my tip for number two is positioning. Make sure that you rush to the power position in every map and hold it down. You know, put some claim wars at the entrance and just be aware of every point of entry, line of sight, because there's so many that you could get shot from and you have to be on high alert. And unfortunately, you know, I hate to say it, you know, that's just the way you have to play this game. It's really tough to rush around, slow your game down, stop rushing. You may not agree with that tip, but get into a game right now and try to rush around like you used to in Black Ops 4. It's just not gonna work. You're gonna get shot from different directions from people who are holding down positions. So if you can't beat them, you gotta join them sadly. With the way these maps are designed and the way these footsteps are just so loud, people are forced to hold down power positions. So make sure that is what you do. You are going to stay alive a lot longer that way. This goes into tip number three, which is sound whoring. So the footsteps are louder in this game, but unfortunately your teammates footsteps do sound similar to enemy footsteps and it's really hard to distinguish between the two this is where you have to use the mini map even if it's not the same that we've seen in every call of duty whenever you hear footsteps around you make sure you check the mini map to see if you actually have teammates around you and if there are no blue triangles or you know whatever color it is on your screen then that it means that there's an enemy nearby and it will generally let you know which direction to be ready for in case there is an enemy so make sure you listen to the footsteps and you utilize that mini map at the same time. So tip number four, you know, this is kind of weird telling this advice to you guys, but don't rely too much on the mini map. If anything, only use the mini map when the UAV is up. Or like I said previously, when you hear footsteps and you want to verify if it's friendly or enemy footsteps near you, that's the only time that you should actually use the mini map. You don't see red dots on your mini map when there's enemy fire. You have to use the compass at the top of your screen to identify where enemies are located. You'll see red dots pinging on there and that information will give you a general indication of where to direct your attention to but i have to warn you don't blindly just run into that direction it's just showing you where on the map it's coming from don't just blindly run to it like flies to a light because there could be enemies directly around you so you have to be really alert so for tip number five this is pretty basic in every call of duty but it's to pre-aim now this call of duty cannot be more emphasized for pre-aiming you know you literally have to pre-aim around every single corner and mounting mounting
getting around corners when needed. Mounting is in this game for a reason. The devs knew exactly what they were doing, so that's why they included mounting. And mounting will also reduce the recoil on your weapon when firing. And it also helps conceal your body as well. So whenever you get a chance, mount on corners and take a peek. That way you have the advantage over the opposition versus just running out blindly. For tip number six, if you're looking for a secondary to use, I would highly recommend equipping a rocket launcher to take down enemy UAVs. This will make a huge difference in the tempo of the game. Taking away the intel that the UAV gives your enemies will dramatically reduce their chances of killing your team and winning the game. So make sure you've got a launcher on and equip it accordingly. And the cool thing is since enemy fire doesn't show on the minimap, they won't even see you taking down the UAV in your location. Taking away the enemy UAVs will actually result in a much more leveled playing field, so to speak. Tip number seven, and this is something that people don't think about too much. I would highly recommend to not use your super sprint too much. Now, if you don't know what that is, or even if it existed, it's when you double click on that left thumbstick. What that does is it brings one gun up in the air and you'll notice your character running noticeably faster. The reason why I recommend to use it very sparingly, the moment you encounter an enemy, the time it takes to ADS coming from a super sprint takes much longer and you will lose those gunfights. So only use it in short bursts to either escape a gunfight, to flee to safety, or traverse from one section of the map to another to avoid being shot. So tip number eight, Earlier, I mentioned we basically have to camp in order to have a much more enjoyable experience because if you don't, you will die often, and that's just the sad, inconvenient truth. However, once you unlock the Dead Silence field upgrade, this will make it much harder for enemies to detect your location, and this will allow for more aggressive play by helping you sneak up on them a lot easier. Also, it enhances your field of vision, giving you more visual perspective of the environment around you, and every time you get a kill, while having dead silence in effect, it resets the duration for which it is working, basically giving you unlimited dead silence. This is definitely going to give you an upper hand if you just want to run and gun and just sneak around and flank enemies. They won't even know that you're coming because they can't hear your footsteps. For tip number nine, going to how big that the maps are in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, my tip for number nine is to burst fire or pulse fire to control the recoil. This Call of Duty has the most recoil we've ever seen. So get in the habit of tapping your right trigger button in short pulsing bursts to achieve a much more accurate shot from longer distances. Of course, only do this if you need to engage in medium to long range type of gunfights. And this will definitely result in a lot better accuracy and controlling that recoil. For my last tip, tip number 10, let's talk about the best guns to use, especially if you're just starting out as a low level. I recommend using the M4A1. It's pretty much versatile for almost any of the maps and it's reliable even without attachments now i'm not going to tell you what setup to run is specifically on it because the way the custom classes work this time around it really is specially designed for your playstyle and comfortability however i will recommend to avoid attachments that make your ads which is your aim down sights or your movement speed slower. Now, because of that, that's obviously gonna put you at a disadvantage when you're getting around the maps. And there are attachments that do make your ADS and movement speed slower. So I encourage you guys to put on attachments that enhance your movement and ADS speed. So pay attention to the descriptions before you put them on your weapons. Speed is going to be everything, especially with how fast you die in this game. Being able to shoot your enemy first will definitely result in a much higher winning percentage for those gunfights. If you're the type who wants to move around the maps more, I highly recommend using the MP5 to start with. I did say that you do have to camp and hold down positions to do well. However, if you're the type who wants to run and gun, you definitely can. You can get some kills, hold an area down, and move around accordingly based on the flow of the game and how it's going. I would only recommend doing that with SMGs because SMGs provide you with that mobility that you need in case you encounter surprise gunfights and the mobility is going to be great to help you sneak around the maps and you'll win most of your gunfights due to the mobility versus assault rifles for example and when you drop shot with smgs you have a higher chance of winning those gunfights because of the mobility that using smgs give you so yeah guys these are 10 of the biggest and best tips that i feel every person needs to know about 
before they start playing Modern Warfare, or if you're already playing Modern Warfare and you're struggling, I feel like these tips will definitely help you out. I hope this video helped you guys out. You know, I know we're struggling with this year's Call of Duty. Everyone's been complaining about it because we're just dying a lot and uh, we're finding it really hard to adjust to. So I really hope these tips help you have a much more enjoyable experience. Now, if you're interested in more tips and tricks, I will be coming out with more tutorials specifically that will help you improve. So be sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe if you're new around here. Show some support. Drop a like on this video if you found it helpful. It would really mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.